Operation Freakout, also known as Operation PC Freakout, was the name given by the Church of Scientology to a covert plan intended to have the author Paulette Cooper imprisoned or committed to a mental institution. The plan, undertaken in 1976 following years of church-initiated lawsuits and covert harassment, was meant to eliminate the perceived threat that Cooper posed to the church and obtain revenge for her publication in 1971 of a highly critical book, The Scandal of Scientology. Cooper Counter sued on March 30, 1972, demanding $15.4 million in damages for the ongoing harassment. However, the church stepped up the harassment, for instance painting her name and phone number on street wall so that she would receive obscene phone calls and subscribing her to pornographic mailing lists. She also received anonymous death threats and her neighbors received letters claiming that she had a venereal disease. In the spring of 1976, the Guardian Office leadership decided to initiate an operation with the aim to get PC incarcerated in a mental institution or jail or at least to hit her so hard that she drops her attacks. In its initial form Operation Freakout consisted of three different plans, or channels, as the Guardian's office termed them. First, a woman was to imitate Paulette Cooper's voice and make telephone threats to Arab consulates in New York. Second, a threatening letter was to be mailed to an Arab consulate in such a fashion that it would appear to have been done by Paulette Cooper, who is Jewish. Third, a Scientologist volunteer was to impersonate Paulette Cooper at a laundry and threaten the President and then the Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. A second Scientologist would thereafter inform the FBI of the threat. This is one of many examples of how Scientology's radical behavior has destroyed the lives of critics and ex-members, it is destroying free speech. Luckily the two main plotters were caught by the FBI before they could put their plan into action.